Training regimes to become champion combat athletes differ from fighter to fighter, but some take things to the extreme. Some like the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano, the only heavyweight champion in history to retire undefeated. Physically speaking, Marciano should never even have been competitive. He was tiny for a heavyweight, and his wingspan barely existed. At 179 centimeters, he's the third shortest heavyweight champ in history. His 173 centimeter reach is the shortest, bar none. And he never weighed more than 85 kilograms. That's lighter than today's cruiserweight maximum. On top of that, he didn't even start boxing until he was 23. And his footwork was pretty rudimentary at best. But Rocky had something else up his sleeve. The blockbuster was born with ungodly power. And to increase that, he would hit the heavy bag for hours on end. And not just your regular 100 pound bag. He had a custom made 300 pound bag because if he could move that, moving a 200 pound man should be easy. And it worked. Marciano's knockout blow packs more explosive energy than an armor piercing bullet came the results of a scientific power test and represents as much energy as would be required to spot lift 1,000 pounds one foot off the ground. He could punch a 455 kilo weight into the air. He used a speedball too, but he cracked it with hooks instead to improve his accuracy. That way, he could land with all of that power on an opponent's chin, even if they were moving. But what people really need to understand about Marciano is that he's one of the best conditioned boxers to have ever done it. Just ask the great Archie Moore. The old mongoose is one of the most skilled and hardest hitting boxers to ever lace up a glove, having knocked out more opponents than anyone in history. But even he got stopped by The Rock. He could hurt you, sure, but it was the quantity of his punches, explained Archie after their fight. He just had more stamina than anyone else in those days. He was like a bull with gloves. And the secret to his unbelievable stamina was threefold. First, he had an extremely strict diet regime. No junk food, no alcohol, and nothing out of the ordinary. The second was running, lots of running. For 365 days a year, he would run at least five or six miles every morning, even on Christmas Day. When a fight was signed, he'd increase it until the last week when he'd do 12 to 15. On top of that, he did endless hill sprints, jogging backward down the hill to start again. And the third was an insanely long training camp. Anywhere from three to eight months of skipping, calisthenics, and rounds and rounds of shadow boxing and footwork drills. Combine those with his power, and he was a nightmare. I would throw a hard punch, then he would throw a hard punch, explained two-time Marciano victim Roland Lestarza. The difference was that Rocky would throw 10 more. He just never stopped throwing punches. For comparison, most modern heavyweights, including Evander Holyfield and a prime Mike Tyson, threw around 40 to 50 punches around. Marciano threw upwards of 80, sometimes over 100, all as hard as anyone has ever punched anything in their life. And when you can do that, apparently, no one can beat you. Because no one ever beat the Brockton Blockbuster. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.